It's day 16 of the SunTrans strike. As it enters the third week, there is no end in sight, and once again, there will be no bus service this weekend. This afternoon, dozens and dozens of union workers held a rally at the downtown Ronstadt Center. We spoke to both sides about the negotiations and what's holding up a deal. Despite the sweltering heat, Striking union workers joined on the picket line by Teamsters from as far away as New Mexico and California. If we're not all in it together for the middle class and the working people, then we're going to have a problem maintaining and keeping good paying jobs. As the strike enters its third week, the two sides no closer to a deal. Suntran and the Teamsters Union 104 have been working through a federal negotiator but have no scheduled meetings. Well, we made a proposal, a comprehensive proposal that uh, lowered our what we were asking for by 50 to 75 percent. So we're not going to negotiate with ourselves. And going back to the table simply for them to tell us that there's no change, that's not going to happen. A spokesperson for Suntran says they do want to sit back down at the negotiating table, but can't comment on whether or not they would be willing to change their firm and final offer. The company says the last offer given by the union wasn't economically feasible. The team starts asking for a 55-cent raise for three years.